Gun starts with soul. Yo, 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 what's happening, folks? Welcome back to Andy Scott Scots with Soul. This is podcast 35, and this week we have Yaldi Time with us. We have Vanessa the Nub returning, and we have SM Viper and Marco host us with God, us again. It's 34, you dick. It's 34, right, it's 34, sorry, sorry, it's 34, <laughs> I'm a week ahead of myself. <laughs> it's because we've got next week's podcast all scheduled and booked and that, man, I'm, I'm super excited. I, but yeah, welcome back, guys, it's 34th week this week, my apologies. Yaldi time, Vanessa, Viper, there we go, how are we doing, boys and girls, and welcome back. Right, yeah. We'll start with Viper, son. How have you been, Hello. what have you been up to this week? I have been shiting out liquid all week. I've been ill, so so ill. It's only like yesterday that I've actually felt okay to actually leave the house. But yeah. So that's how you've been streaming in that then? Mm-mm. I've been in my bed. You sick baby. Like it's oh I don't even think a baby's worth the talking about it. It was more like uh, I I am not moving. And I've learned uh you can't trust farts. <laughs> you cannot trust farts. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Tickles was supposed to be on tonight, but our wonderful Vanessa has replaced him in short notice. How are you, Hello. Vanessa, and welcome back. I'm good. Hello. We're all good as well. Right. Yeah. Yaldi, how are you, I was son? Looking after him. We burst Yaldi's mood before the stream, but how are you, son? How have you been? I'm doing all right. <laughs> doing all right. Right, we're going to start this week by talking about how Microsoft have put up basically asking the internet, how can we fix Windows 10, right? We know it's a mistake, but we're going to go and have a wee look at this website here and see what they're actually up to. So here is your look. <laughs> Team Xbox would love, love to hear how you'd, like, how you'd like to see gaming on Windows improved. How can Windows 10 enhance your gaming experience? What features would you like to, would you like added or changed? to make gaming in Windows 10 even better. Create suggestions, vote suggestions, and leave comments below. So like, let's have a look at some of the suggestions. 782 votes for when running a game, Windows should automatically disable processes when playing. Is that ever a problem for any of you guys? Like, uh, would... Not for me, no, it's not been a problem. Nah, see, I don't I don't... it's not a problem with itself or just its applications, really. like. Pardon me. When I'm playing a game, sometimes it'll come up and be like, oh, you've got like an important email, stop playing. And instead of just, you know, putting it up on the side and going, yeah, you've got an email, it will like stop all controls going through until you click it away. So it means like stop all non essential apps from running mm-hmm. while you're playing a video game. Right, but does that mean like, does that not got to create problems for stuff like OBS? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, because like, surely OBS is an essential thing when you're playing a video game. Surely they'll put that into the coding. What do you think, Yaldi? What's your opinion on this? Well, it'll be the same as sort of like an antivirus system. You can let certain processes pass through that you want to keep running. It wouldn't be like, here, no, fuck everything. Only game runs, you know what I mean? That, that, that wouldn't make sense. So do you think they could maybe put like a wee screen in, like, or a wee bit in the settings where you could get and choose? What you want to stop running when you play video games? Do you know what I mean? Like, like you say, your Facebook Messenger or your Twitter account or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like that, so it's no popping up on screen or it's no dinging in the background. But then there's always mute. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mute, close. So I don't know. It's it's only seven hundred people, but like I say, this was only put up a few days ago, so it's got a few weeks left to run. So there's got to be a lot more. What would you guys like to see Windows do to improve? Any suggestions before we read some more? Delete it and make it Windows 7. <laughs> See, I like Windows, Windows 10 now. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Windows 7 was good and I get used to that and now I'm just as used to Windows 10 as I was 7. So, mm. to me, it does everything I want. It plays my video games. It lets me stream. Aye, I quite like Windows 10. I it like grew it. on me. Aye. Read a few yeah. more of the suggestions that they've actually got on the website. Create a version of Windows specifically for gaming. So there's like Windows gaming. Mm, that could be good. Maybe streamline some video games and stuff. What do you think about that one? How would they? What do you think they're getting what? at with that? Because 
people like stuff like that. It could be one for like gaming PCs. Do you know what I mean? You're buying a gaming PC and it comes with software that is better for gaming, but I can so see your what, face and I understand it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like it does it does gaming really well. It's a PC. Do you know what I mean? It's the it's the apex of gaming. Like the, the 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 you know the operating system that you're using doesn't necessarily impact the game you're playing. I yeah. kind of feel that's maybe console players that are seeing that one. Do you know what I mean? Create a version of Windows specifically for gaming because like, they're like, I want something that's like my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sorry, yeah. Like, as, for as much as I don't like using Mac so software or Linux, like, if the games are made properly for them, then it shouldn't <clears throat> fucking matter. Yeah. So having a specific Windows version for, you know, to play games on is just creating more issues for developers to try and work around that doesn't make doesn't make sense it doesn't doesn't need to be a thing yeah i, I agree with that one i'd say that's I, i'm definitely not going to vote for the first two because like the first one like we say you can just close things down as you need them do you know what i mean that yeah. it's a laziness approach but then again laziness and convenience are the same thing nowadays um i create a version like of windows Sorry? It's like Estevarius is saying in the chat here, there's third-party programs which you can literally download for free which will turn off all non-essential programs for you. There's yeah. one that's, I think the most notorious one is like CPU Booster. Yeah. It, it just it just cl closes everything down that you don't need so that you're getting everything put towards the actual game process running. It, it's just, it's pure, pure laziness standpoint and from people that don't know what they're talking about. Convenience. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Convenience. Yeah, you're right. You're you're hundred percent right. It's laziness and convenience that's causing that first one. The next one know. down is let users disable unnecessary processes while playing games. Is that, that's, that's the first one? I would just skip right <laughs> over that. Right, allow your users to launch games on PC with a controller. These are all people you, you... that play on laptops. I like that one. <laughs> 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 Aye, um, if you could launch it on launch games on the controller, but I can launch games on my controller anyway because my PlayStation Four controller's got the touchpad. It's a mouse. You double click the game. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's called Team Big Picture Mode. <clears throat> I've never really used that. Never but really used that. You have to click the Big Picture Mode button using your mouse. That's, oh that's no! Too hard. Oh no! <laughs> Again, laziness and convenience probably ain't it. It, it. it feels like the people that suggest those sort of things are people with crappy computers that want to play on PC. Instead of just spending more money on a proper PC, they want the operating system to do it for them. But is that so not what have. everybody wants? Do you know what I mean? Like, see... Yeah, but the operating system doesn't do that for you. Like, That's not what it's there for. Like obviously we'd all want some version of Windows that do you know what I mean that can play your modded games and stuff like that without having to go through Hamachi and through all this bullshit and changing files about. Obviously we all want that, but come on, do you know what I mean? Right. That 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 goes that's going in the realms of internet and connectivity. That's not anything to do with the operating system. Yeah, I know that, but like, is that what people are thinking? Just, just because you can't navigate a folder system and it takes me half an hour to explain to you how to drag one file over to the other. <laughs> but I'm not going to be the only person that's it's like a that. Problem. I'm, not gonna, to I'm not going to be the only person that's like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, how many other people are going to turn on their PC and go, oh, I, can't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Somebody that's new to PC the same as me. Do you know what I mean? Never having done these things before. How, half the time downloading then, the game. Like, it allows you to pin the app onto the desktop. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you turn the PC on, it's already, like, there. How hard is it to just go, here's Double a clip. mouse. Shoot. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> like, how hard is that? Mm, I agree. It's like with a lot of things, I don't think we should be encouraging easy, lazy options. I think we should be encouraging people to try and actually improve themselves. Yes, I agree. Because it, it's it's like with everything now, everything is getting easier to do. No one's learning to do anything, so like we're gonna go on a gradual decline of fucking education and you know the. I mean, we all find ourselves of younger people. We all find ourselves falling into that trap, do not we? Do you know? I mean, those we want instant gratification in our lives nowadays, and that's 
do you know what I mean? If it doesn't work instantly, then we want a program or a Windows that will fix it for us and make it work instantly. Do you know what I mean? I totally agree with you. We we need to focus on learning a bit more. There is. There there already is. Because on some... Well, uh, there is an option for it. Or you could do it on Xbox. I don't know if you can do it on PC. But you can literally just go, like, Xbox, play this game. Xbox. Voice command. Yeah, voice command. Yeah. Xbox, www.pornhub.com. Like, it's, like, it's it's so easy to <laughs> access. And, like, it's, like, up the, that's, are, are, we, are we saying people are too lazy to go Xbox? What I think is going to happen it. is we're going to get to, like, that fucking part in Wally where everyone's just in floating chairs. And, yeah. And they, <laughs> and on the side note, I'd love a floating chair. <laughs> of course you would. Of course you would. You'd, you'd you'd float to your work in it and you'd fucking stack your shelves sitting in it while playing fucking Minecraft. <laughs> what are you talking about? My job is Minecraft. <laughs> right, let's look at the next suggestion in the board. Allow users to stream from the PC using their Xbox console. What? Um, when, Xbox I using, when I am using when I am using a controller. It's not possible to launch a game. Oh, that's the one above it. Um, hold on. <laughs> since since I can stream stream my console to my PC, I should be able to stream my PC to my Xbox I console sh- without latency. I should be able to stream my PC to my Xbox One console without latency. Yeah, I why think... Are what he's... Do- why are you doing that? Just turn on your monitor? Yeah, do you know what I mean? I think he's, I think he's thinking that... This um, is- this is a man that cannot be bothered moving one HDMI cable from here to here. <laughs> like, just do it. What are you doing? <laughs> why would you, you want to stream your PC to your Xbox? I don't understand that. <laughs> we can't understand everybody's point of view, healthy thing. <laughs> There's going to be people that disagree, but I, I, I agree that that that's a silly one. Let's quickly move on past that. Make it easier to customise controller mapping via Xbox Accessories app on the PC. It would be nice if the process to customise controls was easier on PC, as the current process takes too long. Have you ever heard the DS4 tool? Do you know what I mean? That works with an Xbox controller as well, and it's super easy to set up. Just get into the settings and you change the buttons. Yeah, DS4 is for like your PS4 controller and stuff though. It does work you for Xbox. Xbox controller, but generally it's for remapping your PS4 as an Xbox controller. Um, I think what they're meaning is just like the Xbox accessories app in Windows 10 is just garbage, and they want it to be better. So that yeah, makes sense. That, that that does make sense. But uh, again, like with PC, there's there's so many third party fixes for everything that it shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, but people like official fixes for yes, stuff. So yes, that's the like main thing. Yeah. Outside the comfort safety box. Are we actually are we on their official website or are we on r slash <laughs> underscore stupid responses to questions? No, no. We're on Xbox, Xbox videos. Ideas. Aye, aye. Xbox, Xbox videos. See if the next one isn't change the name to Windows McWindows face, I'll be fucking disappointed. <laughs> this is this is the website where That's you can perfect. actually go vote for them yourself and put in your own suggestions. So if there's any suggestions you'd like to see on Windows skin there and see if other people will back you and see if they'll actually change it. But I next suggestion down. Windows should automatically download di- driver updates when game is installed. Does 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 what, that? So no, I think Steam like... does anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm get guessing that must be Steam. specifically for Microsoft Store. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I can think about that. Or is he talking about Windows Windows drivers? Or is he talking about graphical drivers? Like it's. It's there. When I download a game, Windows should find any available driver updates for that game, like graphics drivers, and download them automatically as well. He's not really specified. But usually, your, th- you know, the company that provides your, you know, your GPU would yeah. have some sort of software that does that for you. Yeah, MSI have it, and it launches every time and- your PC. And when a new game comes out, they don't always have a graphical driver for it straight away. So mm. usually, it's, it's usually like, a like compatible with yeah. this GPU and over, or like that's usually what happens. Like if you look at the back of a a game box or something, or in the description of the games, like 
computer requirements. Which a lot of people don't need, but maybe they should start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't understand it as well, Vanessa. <clears throat> Yeah. Because it's, it's a lot of tech speak, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm an electrician and I don't understand a lot of the speak when it comes to computers and it's all electrical speak, do you know what I mean? Mm. So That's fair enough, yeah. I'm a, I'm a media student I don't understand when people speak English, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're from Edinburgh. I need <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm no angry. I'm only angry at the fact that he said I was, I was, it was because I was from this area. It's because he called it Edinburgh and no Dunedin. He knows better. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know the name of your your wee shitty tune. <laughs> yeah, just because we didn't have any beef doesn't mean you should have a go at us. He <laughs> has <laughs> beef about us not having beef. Your yeah, Burger you Kings see. didn't have beef. <laughs> right. It was, it was a right. horrible experience. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I didn't know what they're talking about either. It's an inside joke. Right, we're moving um, on. We're going to talk about the new DBZ game that's coming out. There's a new DBZ RPG coming out and it's starting development this year. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about is um, this. There's, they're, they're releasing a new warrior from a universe of living and they think it's going to be Jiren into the new DBZ fighters. Um, I don't have fighters, mm. but I, I, I think I'm going to get it um, if like people like Jiren and that are coming into it and then Broly will come into it. Oh, man. I mean, um, like, Broly's already done it. Uh, who else would you put though? You couldn't really be Topo. anyone else other than Dispo. It could be Topo. I mean, Dispo. it could be Topo or Top. I'd like um, this one. This one's quite cool. Freeze the like super uh, destruction god version, I guess. But wait, does he is, does he become fucking god of the universe eleven? Is that the universe he becomes? Does he not get the god of destruction powers? Aye, but I'm not. I don't think it's for universe eleven. Do you know what I mean? Because it's um they have mm. they have said it's Universe it's Eleven. Oh, if it's, all right, okay. If it's Universe Eleven only, right? Don't I missed that. Part. That's what I'm thinking. It's it's, it's, well, it's Dispo, I mean, Topo, or Jiren. It's only one of the three. Is this is this the game where they speak the Naruto language? <laughs> no, it's the game no, where uh, <laughs> it's the game where an old woman plays gay uh, plays the main character, and it tilts you no end. I love how if you go into the comments of that article, it says a uh, plot twist. It's mobile only. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it say that? What, oh from no, a new it's, character? it's just some random, random guy said, um, like in the comments of um, from public. It's just like. Alright. Okay. Okay. Other but people I, like, I agree with you, Yaldi. It can only be Dispo, Topo, or Jiren. And let's be honest, it's going to be Jiren. Or maybe Wait, they'll start at the bottom. Could, Could it not be, be the fourth Dragon Ball? Say again, Viper? It'll be the fourth Dragon Ball. <laughs> he, he's not clapped up with Dragon Ball at all, has he? He doesn't know. Right. I have never <laughs> even set my eyes on Dragon Ball. I right. was a Naruto fanboy. <laughs> this fucking... This asshole. He doesn't even know about the Super Dragon Balls. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> get, oh, get to top him. <laughs> yeah, it's not my fault. All I know is if you get the seven Dragon Balls, Rayquaza shows up. That's all I know. <clears throat> like, that is that is the like the abundance of my Dragon Balls. Oh, He's hitting it with references I have no clue of, and we're hitting it with references he has no clue of. <laughs> you don't know who Rayquaza is? It's <laughs> no, Rayquaza. On. How the fuck people like, talk about it's it? A, it's a legendary Pokemon. It's basically a big green dragon. It's How just shit one. Mate, there was 250 Pokemon, then there was 350 Pokemon. Now there's no, like there four bajillion there was Pokemon. Pokemon. Then there was 250, then there was 300. Right, well, we there's... get Lego Pokemon. <laughs> there's like over 700 now, it's... Lego Fortnite, man, that was brilliant last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Speaking of Fortnite, but I, I'd like to see it being Jiren as the new character in the DBZ no, Fighters game. Mean. That's what I'd like to see. Right, and news we guys want to talk about before we move on to the next subject. Seeing as how me and Yaldi just had a wee DBZ man moment, Viper. It was forced upon me. <laughs> Is it, is, it, is it a case of like every time someone mentions the word Dragon Ball, it's just like. Mate, it's the new Broly <laughs> movie this Thursday, man. I fucking can't wait, man. This Thursday night, we've got to see the new Broly movie in the movies, man. And we've got to be sitting there like, that, like kids, like, yes, yes, sitting no, in the front row. No, no, we're not. 
Because am. You know what? Fuck it. Trusted. He got his pal to go with him and sit next to him, right? And he was supposed to buy the seats next to me, but he didn't. He left it. The and seats now he's were bought next to you. Me. <laughs> he's sitting That's behind you. you waited. I told you when I bought them. I was like, you're going to go buy these now? And then you didn't go and do it. So now I'm sitting next to some random man that's probably going <laughs> to sweat over Broly, and I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> right, well, tough. I, I, I waited like an hour. And, and it's then in I the old tickets. cinemas, and they've all got the cuddle chairs. I'm not cuddling up with some big sweaty man. <laughs> How did you want to cuddle with me, like? No, I, want, I know that you're skinny, so I'd get at least my arse in. Is that right, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Pure squished up on the seat next to somebody who doesn't know like that. He's got to steal my popcorn. He's got to fucking steal my popcorn, Evan. <laughs> Why else does he know that my dick's in it? <laughs> <laughs> He's good for that again, no. He's reaching for it. He's reaching for it. <laughs> this week keeps the popcorn warm. Um, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> let's swiftly move on. It's like a candy floss machine in the middle of my deck, and then the candy floss is going on. But um, <laughs> welcome, Esther Various okay. and Papa. Ah, if you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the podcast questions chat. It's up at up uh, up the very top of the chat. Click rooms, and there's a new there's another hope, room there. Hope nobody saw me miss my mouth twice there with that sweetie. <laughs> if I knew he was going to date, I'd have done the close up, guys. What? <laughs> I'm now hiccuping like mad, but I, I feel like I'm going to puke every time. We're like, going to uh, quickly watch this trailer of the new Civ. Leads Sweden in Civilization <laughs> Six: <laughs> Gathering <laughs> Storm. Can you just stop thinking about my dick? She Shut became up. queen of Sweden Yo, at the age of six and is remembered for her intelligence, well, strong on. will, and her interest in the arts and sciences. Sweden's unique ability is Nobel Prize. When Sweden is present in a game, all civilizations can engage in three Nobel Prize competitions in the World Congress. Sweden also receives additional points towards great scientists or great engineers from universities and factories <laughs> and gains favor when they earn a great person. <laughs> Their unique improvement is the open air museum. They may only build one per city and it provides loyalty. It also provides culture and tourism for each different terrain type on which a Swedish city has been settled. Sweden's unique unit is the Carolean. This anti-cavalry unit is unlocked at the Renaissance era. It receives additional strength for unused movement <laughs> points and is faster than similar units. Christina's unique ability is Minerva of the North. Buildings with at least three great work slots and wonders with at least two great work slots are automatically themed when they have all their slots filled. Also, she can construct the Queen's Bibliotheque in the Government Plaza, granting additional slots for great works. The key to unlocking Sweden's cultural power is settling cities across all terrain types and filling them with open air museums. Be sure to attract as many great artists, musicians, and writers as you can, and you'll be set for a culture victory. That's what I'm talking about, man. Sweden look fucking awesome. Their powers is um, you have to spread them across the map as far and wide as you can in as many different things. But aye, what was happening there that you were buckled when when we were watching that trailer? Let us in on that joke. I'm I'm trying. I'm I'm I've got hiccups, right? And I'm I'm trying so hard. <laughs> and everyone was being quiet. And I was trying so hard. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to mute myself. To I've let laugh. the podcast down. <laughs> <laughs> I've let you down. <laughs> and most I've left myself down. But I like as left we could see down. as we could see in the Civ trailer there, Sweden are coming back to Civ and so is the World Congress and Sweden's powers have run about the World Congress. Viper, you've never played Civ by a World Congress, and you know? You can basically you can vote for different things, you can compete in different competitions between folk and you can win like Diff lots of different prizes like you can there's big fucking gold prize pools you know what I mean they get production yep. towards wonders and stuff like that so that coming back in Sweden having that powers it's really good and if you tried any, you tried like doing great artists and stuff when you've played Civ before like doing I the paintings have, and stuff like that I have I've, I've, like getting loads of works and that I've done that mostly just to stop anyone else get a cultural victory before I've got a science victory 
Aye, see when you do the paintings, like, you can go into the cultural screen, right, and it brings up, like you've seen there, it brings up, like, all your, your different museums and your theatres and stuff, right? And usually it's very specific on how you get themed, like, you need to be all portraits, and it needs to be different artists in order to get a theming bonus. But with Sweden, as long as you fill any of your museums, it gets a theming bonus and triples the, the, the culture score for that. So culture victories, when this new DLC comes out, it's going to be Sweden. And see, like, another thing is I'm really worried about Hungary. Hungary being really overpowered with their cavalry units, and Sweden have what looks to be a really overpowered anti-cavalry unit. So I think early game, when Hungary's going to be overpowered as shit and needing fixed, Sweden's the people to play to counter them. I think, well, I, I get paid at the end of the month. I might finally get Rise and Fall and then play that. Aye, you've still um, got, you've um, got, you've got just under a month to play the new the Rise and Fall before the new DLC comes out. But you could always wait a while to get the new DLC. You don't have to get it as soon as it comes out. I will be. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that fucking hiccups, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to address it, but I can't help it. If this is what people with Tourette's feel like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hiccups. But aye, we'll, we'll move away from Civ, right? Um, have we seen that Rocket League is now cross play, cross play on all platforms? Switch, oh. everything. Um, Rocket League players on PC, PC, PS4, Xbox and Switch can now join the same match, right? No download is needed for today's Rocket League. When was that? When was that? Um, it was six days ago, so just after the last podcast, this was... This is one of the fucking things about doing a podcast on a Sunday. Sometimes this happens. But um, you, there's no downloads needed for the update, which is weird. PS4 players could already play with PC players. But the change the change does not affect us. Previously, uh, previously we could either match with Xbox and Switch players or PS4 players, but never a mixed mix platform gl- group, including all of them. With today's changes, players on all three consoles and PC can join the same matches. Uh, as usual, console players will now be designated as sign up players if you're on PC. And I think it's the opposite way as well. Um, if you're a console player and it comes up on PC, it says sign it as well. I'm not sure. But aye, that's quite good. And next, like sometime in the near future, they're bringing out cross pop, uh, cross-platform parties as well. So that's going to be quite good. You'll be able to sit in a party chat. But is that no Discord or something? Could they not just do that for your Discord? Can you not do that already? They could. They could have just done it through Discord. Could, you can't yeah. crossplay with your pals, I don't think. I think it's randoms that you can crossplay with. I don't think uh. you can play with your friends on like Xbox or whatever, if you know what I mean. All oh, right, and this one is going to let you like friend search them and stuff like that. Right, cool. I would imagine, yeah. Aye, because they've not really released a lot of details about it. They've just fucking said that it's a thing. Just let it loose. But um, a lot of people, I've read a, a few of the comments earlier, and a lot of people are talking about how they like some of the obscure game modes in Rocket League and hopefully with this cross platform you'll be able to because some of the obscure game modes have only got two or three hundred people playing them at any one time so hopefully that will open up and you'll be able to play fucking Rocket League with the hockey puck more consistently and find a match easier shit like that snow day and stuff like I heard people mention I have uh, more people from different platforms to call me a noob on that game now (laughs) (laughs) it's weird because like when it comes to gaming and like these types of games, <clears throat> I love like the obscure like mo- modes. Like uh, when I'm playing Overwatch, I love playing like Misty Heroes and everything. It's my favorite mode. I don't know why. I just find the actual just like original mode just a bit boring after a while. Sometimes it's it's, it's the, you've been overplaying it, and it just uh, do you know what I mean? It, it feels a bit numb after a while. When playing the alternate game modes can sometimes clear your clear your head a wee bit and. Mm. It's a wee bit different while you're using the same mechanics. Do you know what I mean? Just a different rule set where we're playing the same game. It's always nice. But I like the cross platform should hopefully sort some of that. Do you know what I mean? Because playing with a hockey puck in Rocket League, man, it's mental. It does. It's it's weird how it bounces and stuff like that. So I I quite I quite enjoy it. But I'm I've, terrible I've at Rocket I'm League. About. I'm wondering something right now. Do you know how this goes on to YouTube twenty four hours later? Yes. I'm wondering like if someone does the the closed caption on this 
and will it just go like so <laughs> Viper is speaking about hiccup something that he was talking about and if, if <gasps> Mystery Hero is at hiccup in it like... oh no, that's that's something that's actually um, that me and Viper done quite a while ago um, we were sitting watching some old YouTube videos and I says watch an Andy Scott's video with um, the closed captions on because it never gets them right do you remember <laughs> that we're sitting watching the video with the closed <laughs> captions and it's fucking oh man oh just some of the it's like it, you should do some it. of the things that said about Yaldi was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yaldi, you need like Yaldi, you need to watch this. It's, oh, it's so funny. Uh, the close, can, watching uh... a Scottish person with closed captions on YouTube is is an experience. Sorry, Vanessa. I know you can input your own captions onto it through yeah. YouTube, apparently. Um, uh, don't you, know how, yeah, but, you can set yeah, your own yeah. captions. Yeah, you can go through that on your own, but it's a fucking yeah. absolute nightmare. So usually, yeah. most people just use auto captions, but. It's like anything that never, voice recognition does not like our Scottish accent. It doesn't <laughs> like it at all, man. Especially when you got the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> it probably says sweary words in there in the close cap, the auto close captions, uh-huh. didn't it? That elevator video comes to mind. Aye. Aye. Yes, yes. I remember I said um, elevator, and it was one of the old videos. I was taught, I said elevator, and it says elephant in the closed captions. That's the sort of shit it does. So you're like, ah, no, I did not say elephant. I said elevator. <laughs> closed captions like elephant. Because we what? don't enunciate anything we say. We're all just Thunder. fucking slur at words. It's because we're usually drunk. Yeah. Well, no, it's no. Speak for yourself. I exactly. Speak for yourself. I'm, I'm pissed at this very moment. <laughs> But have we seen Valve are making changes to Steam this year? Making mm-hmm. eight changes to spe- be for specific Steam changes. And are any of them improving it? Or well, or that's when we've got to just I'm look sure. at just now. We've just got to look at the, the, the article. Thunder, fuck off! Right, Mich- Make Steam run my games better. I know Valve announces eight changes coming to Steam in twenty nineteen. Machine learning, discoverability, mm. a new library, updates to Steam TV, and more are on the way. Somebody does a favour and read that. I'm terrible at it. In a blog post reflecting on the life of Steam in 2018, Valve uh, detailed some of the new features planned for the go to PC gaming client in 2019. Before all the numbers and pie charts explaining growth and infrastructure changes and lessons learned, Valve finally put a, a release window on the long awaited library update built in on the same technology introduced in the recent Steam chat update. With Steam just reaching 30,000 games, not including DLC or software, it's about time. Am I still going? Aye, aye, go I don't know if it's like when we're at school, well, you know, some, wait, wait, one wait. person reads the paragraph and then the person on the right reads the next paragraph. And there's, 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 like, right, here's, here's the main ones, right? There's the eight changes here. Starts at score, st- d- score disco variability. <laughs> you don't well I think I just had a brain aneurysm listening to that. <laughs> it was bad enough oh, with the hiccups, but now it's like hold it. <laughs> Steam China, so Vanessa can finally start playing games. <laughs> Go on, hey. keep it back up. I can't see it. Come on, keep it back hey. up. Score the uh, store. <laughs> I can't even be done. <laughs> store disco variability. We're working on new recommendation engine powered up by machine learning, otherwise known as artificial intelligence, that can match players on ga- to games based on their individual tastes. Algorithms are only a part of a d- disco variability solution. <laughs> However, they were so we're building more broadcasting creating features. <laughs> I can't take that. <laughs> Disco variability. We've partnered with Perfect World to bring Steam onshore into China. We'll reveal more details about this in the coming months, not including Hong Kong. No, <laughs> it does, Hong does Kong. not say that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is it Steam onshore? Is like fucking Steam's invading China? <laughs> Because <laughs> China, China are notorious for just pirating everything. Do you know what I mean? Like they even pirate models of cars. They're like, "Oh, that's a nice car you built. I'm going to build the exact same car." <laughs> They're like me ball. when they want to like, make sure they. It's like, "Oh, look, that's a nice Mitsubishi you have there." <laughs> you want a mini? Okay, it's called a small. <laughs> <laughs> that is the kind of shit China does. Sam. That's a nice fork you have. <laughs> Shitsubishi. But aye, that's the first two. Store disco variability, right? 
um, Steam China, um, Steam Library update, some long-awaited changes to the Steam client will ship, including a rework to Steam Library built on top of technology we shipped in Steam Chat. We've but. made it harder to find your games that you own. <laughs> 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 New, New event system. system. Uh, go on, you go Viper, you take it away. We are up upgrading the event system in the Steam community, enabling you to highlight interesting activities and games like tournaments, streams, or weekly challenges. That's actually quite cool, because uh, Yaldi actually on that team recently when I was uh, doing Steep. He told me about the Solomon run, so if it's quite cool if he can actually go on to Steam oh, fuck. and like highlight that. Wait, so I'm guessing that mean like, so... Is that like in game or is that like out with it? Because if it's out with it, what's the point? I could just tell someone about the challenge for them out. Well, see the events. The events pops up when in the wee screen when before you go to play the game, it comes up. Do you know what I mean? So it would just be sitting there saying events before you click play. Do you know? What I, mean? I feel like this could be a very abusable. Like uh, you could oh, spoil yeah. the end of the game for someone that's just started it for the first time. <laughs> mm. New, event. new event discovered. Man dies at the end of game. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> <You're just> like... <laughs> aye, aye, it could be, but at the same time, Steam invent new spoiler system. Steam invent new spoiler system. Ah. They've actually just sell taped a spoiler on the <laughs> Steam TV. I think that's now. their new streaming, um, their new yeah, streaming aye. platform. We're working on expanding Steam TV beyond just broadcasting specific tournaments and special events in order to support all games. So what they're saying is, there, I think, is, we're coming for you, Twitch. I just realised, no just way, no have right you seen now. the one below it? No. Have you seen the one below it, though? Read it, go for it. This is, I can't because it's off stream. And I yeah, it's, it's on blank. stream. <laughs> and then, uh, Steam Chat, we're going to ship a new Steam Chat mobile app so you can share your favourite gifts with your friends while on the go. <laughs> There's already something for that. It's called Facebook Messenger. Steam, Steam Chat already exists. That's what I thought. <laughs> I bet it's on the go. There's oh, already the a mobile, mobile app. Oh, it's going to be even more on the go and happen cool and jazzy. <laughs> we decided that the first fucking chat mobile app where they made were shite, so we're releasing Steam Chat too. There you go. It's much jazzier than the normal Steam Chat. This now it's improved is, by at least one. This reminds me of Destiny. Like, so first Destiny was shite, so we're going to figure out Destiny Two. It's much more jazzy than Destiny One. No, no, no. They were like Destiny Two was re uh, Destiny One was really good, so let's make Destiny Two and let's make it worse Listen. than before. Hey, let's hey. be real though, no developers ever said, oh, let's make a second game to make it even better. They've said, oh, hey, that made a lot of money, let's make more money. <laughs> <laughs> the first <laughs> gift that will ever be shared is the one of Mr. Krabs going, so Mr. Krabs, why have you opened the Krabby Patty 2? Every money. single every single Metal Gear game that Kamut Kojima done, for fuck's sake, they want another one? <laughs> oh, do I need to make another one of these games? <laughs> That's how he genuinely felt about most of these Metal Gear games. I think this stream should be called Man Fights Dog for one hour. I know, man. He's <laughs> like, I will be on the stream with you. I will hijack your stream and buy your... No, because look, um, you'll not actually be able to see it, right? But see how he's got his wee front canines. Usually they've only got one canine on each side. Well, his wee puppy teeth are still in, and his adult teeth are coming through. So he's looking to, he's looking to teeth and chew my fingers and stuff. His wee mouth must be shark so. dog. He's got rosy teeth. Shark dog. Your sausages. Right. The Go other two Gallo. changes Steam are making are Steam Trust, the technology behind trusted matchmaking in CSGO, is getting an Steam upgrade Trust. and will become a full Steam feature that will be available to all games. This means you'll have more information that you can use to help determine how likely a player is a cheater or not. And Steam PC Cafe program. We are going to officially ship a new PC Cafe program so that players can have a good experience using Steam in hundreds of PC cafes worldwide. So basically, they're, they're releasing a fucking McDonald's Wi Fi fucking, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Interrupter for Steam, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this works on fucking potato Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> do you have 600 ping? We got you, boy. <laughs> Tell me, do you buy your app? Do you buy your connection from Lidl? 
It's okay. <laughs> we gotcha. It's called Steam PC Cafe. <laughs> Brilliant. I want Let to open up a Steam Cafe now. Say again, Viper? I want to open up a Steam Cafe now. People will Selling think steam. it's just like Steam food. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. I could be hipster and I could also be gaming. I could bring in the total niche market I've of written, seven I've, hipster I've, gamers. Everything needs to run on Steam. Uh, it needs to be as if the world never invented electricity and we use Steam in its place. Your town needs to be Steam operated and all that. You need to be fucking shoveling coal. <laughs> steam I've got like 14 everything. little 11 year old boys just working for minimum wage in the bottom. Just no, like no, 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 that, no, no, that. No, 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 no. You take it's on apprentices. You take on apprentices, right? <laughs> apprentices. Apprentice, yeah. apprentice, fire, fireman, right? That's what we'll call them, right? Apprentice, fireman. There we go, right? <laughs> Just unpaid interns, basically <laughs> modern slaves. <laughs> Mate, see when I was um so students. When I was fifteen, I went to work on what was called um what was it called Scottish Scottish Foundation or something like that, and they put me on a placement, right? And I was on placement in a mechanics garage, and I was doing forty eight hours a week. Do you know how much I get paid per week? You're probably like three pounds in an hour. Two loaves of bread. 45 quid a week I get paid. For 48 hours worth of work when I was on placement and they were trying to tell me it was for the betterment of me. Oh, you're getting fucking experience and all that. See the guy? I asked him, have you got any plans to keep me on? And he's like, ah, no, when your placement's up, we don't ever keep anybody on for the placements. We just use it for labour. That was the second in command of the place. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, ah, all right, okay. And that's why I applied for the council and ended up being an electrician. But thank fuck I was still on the milk when I was doing that placement at 15, 16 years old. Because I'd have been fucking, I'd have been fucked for money. Because you couldn't claim any of your benefits or that that you would usually get leaving school, like ESA or that, because I was on that, 45 quid a week. But do you know what I mean? I was getting up at four o'clock in the morning, doing the milk for a couple of hours, and then going to my placement at eight o'clock in the morning and working to five at night. And fucking, oh, it was ridiculous, man. So, there's that happens in the world. Do you know what I mean? It's what almost like of, slave labour, as you say that. Yeah. That's why. That's, that's why that story came out there. Yeah. What reminds me of is when uh, music musicians and students get uh, told, "Oh, don't worry, you're not getting paid this gig, but you'll be getting experience." Exposure. Oh, yes. Exposure. Could well, you just you. do free art for me? I'll expose it to all my friends and family. Oh, all thank you. Because seven of them, right? Cool. I tried to pull yeah. that one on Yaldi. Like, ah, go on, go <laughs> on. He's like, ah, no, you'll fucking pay me, you bastard. I was like, ah, whoops, sorry, mate. <laughs> I got one free emote off him. I got one free emote, and that was the code my dog one. But that was right after Oscar died, and he'd done it because he was feeling sad for me. Then he gives me his PayPal like a week after sending me the picture. <laughs> oh, like, I <laughs> you need to get why they fucking the wee um. Because I don't care. Like I don't care if you key card things. Get into Glasgow and be like, ah, I'll paint you pictures with your wee fucking key card thing for t- uh, your what's it the touch pin thing. Do you know what I mean? You can just be sitting in what, town contacts? drawing drawing sock faces for folk. You want a sock face? You want a sock face? <laughs> I'll draw you <laughs> sock face. <laughs> so worth it though. Ah, well, thank man. God that my rent this year was eight hundred exposures. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something you've ever thought about, Yaldi? Is doing something like that? <clears throat> a canvas what? somewhere? Like, just like the way a busker would do it? Like a fucking vandal? No, like, like just going to taking, like, a can- taking like, a canvas into town and being like, I'll draw caricatures of you. Fucking ten of a caricature? No. Why no? I'd, like, I'd, I'd, I think that'd be quite cool and you'd be really good at it. I think you'd be really popular. One, I'm an introvert. I don't want to talk to people on the street. What if I Two come with you and I did a talking? What if I come and I, I did a talking and I say to everybody you're deaf and then when I go to Two. tell you stuff I whisper it in your ear? Two, uh, Glasgow's a shite hole. Right. <laughs> Three, junkies will try to kill me. <laughs> Four, I don't want you to. You can just I'm imagine the rain. caricature of a junkie trying to kill him, can't you? <laughs> 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 If I could learn how to do those spray painting, like paintings that you see people do in the street, oh, I would do it. Cool. They're right. actually really easy to do. Just, just like, just so that I could get fucking absolutely high just while I'm paint, painting. Just like, oh, you can do. It. I'm it's on purpose. <laughs> you know, like most of them are planets, so you could you just have like a really round planet, and it's all beautiful with the galaxy, and then in the middle, suck face. Just the planet is the suck face. <laughs> totally beautiful. 
I, I would think that should be your new cover photo. I would turn my camera right, but my fucking room's a bomb site. But there's um when I was spray painting that wee penguin that I made, right? I um I got the urge to just spray paint the wall, and I've spray painted a massive suck face above my bed. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I, can, I can't. That I can't. My room's yeah, a bomb site. All oh, right. It's yeah, Fair enough. Or Fair post enough. a picture in the Discord when it's clean. I'm just gonna quickly just do. I can take my phone over and take a picture of it and get it for you, but like. It's not happening. Aye, right, guys, um, if you type in one. exclamation mark Discord to join our Discord and you'll see a picture of that later on in the Discord after the podcast. This is the last thing I see before I go to sleep is fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> guys, right. I'm just going to um, quickly just uh, put, put this link in the, the chat. It's got nothing to do with what we're talking about, but um, what it actually is, right, is uh, Truss, his dog, was playing True. with... True. Uh, we yeah, it's pandas. What the fuck? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was, a, I, was a, I was acrylic painting at the time, and I was like, I want to draw pandas on the wall. <laughs> That's adorable. Back it looks Viper. like that one panda's doing something else than that another panda, isn't he? And he's ruined it. He's just... sitting sharp. <laughs> what was your vipers? What was your story? Right, uh, the link I just posted, right? Um, So, Thunder was just playing with a, a teddy unicorn, and that unicorn's fucked. That yeah, is the that... unicorn that what it used to look like. <laughs> Would you like to show what the unicorn looks like now? Oh, it's like he's, he's already yellow been... and... Is he humping it? <laughs> there it's right there. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh so, no! I know how to fix that, but you don't want to because he won't play with it. Oh, see oh, the thing no. is, it's no longer at the washing machine. It's like two or three days out the washing machine. Look, look at him, look at him. He's trying to hurt my arm <laughs> getting to it. He's like. <laughs> Like fucking thunder, man. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking loves that unicorn, man. It's his favourite teddy of all time, man. <laughs> Can I get some not like this in the chat, please? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so aye, that, that's Thunder's oh. unicorn, right? That's the unicorn story over, right? Uh, oh. <laughs> unicorn gate has passed, right? <laughs> um, we're going to watch a wee trailer, Just... right? We're going to watch a wee trailer and the, um, kind of calm down a wee bit until we come back, oh. right? We're going to be forced to watch a trailer. You will oh. like this trailer, I guarantee it. <clears throat> Hotline Miami made into a 3D game. That looks, sounds aids. It looks awesome, but sounds like doom. It looks awesome. That sounds awful. Oh. oh. GTA three. This does that GTA mod. <laughs> looks brilliant, man. Those walls, though. Do you have a chicken on your head in the room, Polly Miami? Uh, yeah, you do it with you your mask. <laughs> how's, the, how's this blunt pipe chopping people in half? Aye, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> But I basically, anyway, does... just walks back through the level showing you it in slow, um, just showing you, you what sure? he went through. This, so. this, this is more like Manhunt. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. It looks as if it was a PlayStation 1 game. That's what they say. It's recreated to look like a PlayStation 1 game, right? But can you imagine if that came out in PlayStation 1, how all manners of band it would have been? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking 90s mums would have been up in arms. No! <laughs> <laughs> ah, no! My son slash daughter's not allowed to see that. No, not a chance. They'd have been up in fucking arms about it, but aye, it looks really fun. That's obviously like level one or level two. It's obviously that, really that does game. not look fun to me. <laughs> Mate, that looks really, <laughs> looks really stupid and fun to me. It looks if like I'd be pushing myself the full time during the stream. <laughs> That's what it looks like uh, to me. To, to me, that looks like the like a nice hotline Miami game if it was really clunky and really frustratingly boring. Like, mm. but that's why it would end up being stupidly funny. 
because it's why the games you're only going to play it once you're only going to play it for a few hours I, might as well just it, completely it, embrace it I don't it. think everything can tra- translate to 3D as well as people think it can <laughs> well Vanessa, that's just true Bubsy 3D what 3D? Bubsy 3D <laughs> I, thought, I thought you said Stubsy 3D <laughs> that's what I thought he said as well that's why I double checked because I knew that's not what he said <laughs> like, Stubsy looks nothing like a rooster but I um on to the next subject is Netflix v Fortnite. Netflix were talking this week about how they feel as if they're competing with Fortnite. Did you see this, right? Aye, aye, right. I know. I like look at Yaldi's face, right? Look at look at that. Look, 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 right. Aye, that was my face as well when I read it. Uh, that's why I'm. That's we why make we're... videos and a streaming service to watch episodes of TV on the internet. Having increased its numbers of subscribers and overall so revenue for the latest people, quarter, people. Netflix is doing quite well as of late, but now the company says it could have done better if it weren't for a little game called Fortnite. In the competition section of a letter of to investors today, Netflix succinctly said, we, we compete with and lose to Fortnite more than HBO as it relates to screen time. Analyst Peter Michael Pachter of Webbish Wedbush Securities thinks Netflix's popularity measurement against ne- against <coughs> Netflix was downright idiotic. Time is a finite commodity, as Patcher points out. Wait. Netflix also com- also competes with school work and defecating. <laughs> 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 that was my favourite part. Cause what's so- the biggest problem we he's- face? People are shitting. He's so that right. Is the problem. <laughs> Do you know what I People mean? People are shitting. Wait. We need to put out a Netflix toilet so you can watch Netflix <laughs> on the toilet. <laughs> Netflix toilet. <laughs> the, you you, you can sit, watch I fucking Punisher while you're taking a big shit. You sit on it like a cool kid, like you turn the back of the chair and you lean over it, man, and it's got a wee screen on the top of it. <laughs> you just look down at the screen. <laughs> it's like a, fair, right, a Netflix toilet would be amazing for watching horror films. <laughs> a like, Netflix uh, toilet. No. <laughs> Thanks to the new Netflix toilet, we're seeing an increased amount of blowjobs while people are taking shit. <laughs> Netflix, finally... and, Netflix and shit, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can finally trust my poos again. <laughs> but I like the, like Netflix need to realise that they're not competing with Fortnite. They're competing with Amazon <laughs> Prime. They're competing with other video streaming services. Do you know what I mean? Like, see, <laughs> see, see when you're finished playing Fortnite. Right, right. When you're finished playing Fortnite and you're looking to sit and watch something, and you don't watch Netflix, that whoever <laughs> you chose to watch is who Netflix is competing with. Not They're fucking competing. Fortnite, man. Come on, to fuck Netflix. What are you thinking of it, man? Like, <laughs> what do you think damn, it is? damn that Fortnite taking all of our Netflix <laughs> customers away. I mean, you're like Netflix. You realise you get paid whether people fucking use your service or not, right? <laughs> They've paid for it. Bye, <laughs> Vanessa. What do you think? I mean, okay. One at one point of view, I'm like, okay, right, fair enough that you're you're blaming them. It's completely random. But then, in the other view, is when people say Fortnite is everywhere. I have literal proof of that. I bought earrings from eBay, and in the envelope, they gave me this motherfucker. It's upside down. It's a llama sticker <laughs> from Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite it had nothing infest to do with invest. the earring. It was literally like it was li- literal two hoops, two hoops, and it came with that. Hey, they they, they could have been the golden rings, you know, from that Fortnite game. You know, the one with the blue hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that what's his name? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Yeah, not. I mean, have a name. I thought it was just a llama. Right, let's let's leave that. Here's it here's everything. somebody's response. Right, Mrs. Michael <laughs> Pactor, the other guy that we just read the other comment. The point being made is that they compete based on providing engaging content and value for subscribers' fees spent. The comment about losing to a Fortnite game is downright idiotic. If they're measure, measuring things like that, they will lose to sleep, sex, pooping, eating, school, work, etc. <laughs> like. They're no losing to sex because, let's be honest, people have almost fucking, like, do you know what I mean, linked Netflix and sex, do you know what I mean? Because that's basically what Netflix and fucking chill means, do you know what I mean? So, I'm surprised there's a Netflix. Five minutes of sex, 40 hours of Punisher. (laughs) 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 Punisher's not a bit longer. (laughs) 
40 hours of punishing be- sex. Five minutes <laughs> of Game Ooh. of Thrones. <laughs> I mean, that new Mary Kondo cleaning film, you know, that really gets you in the moods. Oh, yeah, the sex she takes out that bottle of the lemon pledge. I'm like, oh, ha, 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 ha. oh, yeah, this sparks joy indeed. <laughs> it's like you don't know what the noise of, like, you know, you don't know if it's a case of me fucking fapping away or if it's her just spraying fucking Febreze onto the window. I think if you make that sound when you're having a wank, I think you should go to the doctor. What are you talking about? My, my cum Sounds like you've rubbed work. your hand in like moisturizer and soap and you're going. <laughs> <laughs> he does it all the Next time. I'm going to make that noise, I'm going to like, hey, yeah. It's like he's shagging one of them fucking, you know, fart putty. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't. I sell that at work. It's weird. No, no, that just reminded me of the time that a kid broke it. Oh, yeah. Like to, when I was working this. That shit up. Just like we used to have. Like, at Wait, work. you broke the jar the fat potty was in and you had to pick it all up. No, oh no, the ball. It's weird. It's like we sell these, they're called orbs, right? And it's basically balls oh. of slime. And when you drop them, they literally make the sound of. <laughs> and somebody broke it right in front of Vanessa and she had to clean it up and she got ill a couple of days later. I'm pretty sure that like Nova virus or something was in it. You get the slime disease. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that should be in the news, that. Slime what? company is in is encasing fucking deadly viruses within goo. It's the Russians. <laughs> and feeding it to oh. children. Just throwing balls of slime at people when it's actually got fucking anthrax in it and it's just killing people. <laughs> Horrible Death behavior. Death by right? slime. <laughs> but um, I we have set up a charity stream for next month. Did I really know load that into the bot? You fucking... I think you spelled it wrong. Oh no, it's just, no, it's just special. And I Slime did, disease. And I did, I did spell it wrong. Aye. Like, it came in the ball. Aye, right, there we go, look. We are taking part in this Game Blast 2019. It's for a charity that helps disabled children and disabled people in general play video games that they weren't otherwise able to do. So here's a wee look at the website. As you can see, can you imagine life without games? It's for these sort of people, do you know what I mean? Like guy in the wheelchair, so as he can, so as he can enjoy video games the same way as me and you can. Game Blast is your chance to help. Game Blast nineteen is the UK's biggest annual charity game and marathon weekend. It's the perfect way to do what you love most and to change the lives of the disabled gamers at the same time. It's simple. Just organise your own gaming marathon, gaming event at your own convenience. And we're going to be doing it on the 23rd of February this year, guys. We're going to be doing it in our normal relay stream format. So we're going to be hopefully doing a 12-hour minimum, hopefully doing a bit longer than that. Maybe people will be doing more than two hours. But if we can do a relay stream on the 22nd, the 23rd and the 24th, if we have got the numbers for that, we're going to be trying to push for that. But it's a great cause. I've only put $100 as our goal, or £100 as our goal. It's very, it's a, it's a small goal. We should be able to hit that as a community. But aye, so it's for the 23rd. If you want to get involved in that, let us know in our Discord and we'll get you involved. You don't have to be Scottish to get involved in this one. What do you guys think about that? Are you guys going to be getting involved in the, re- in, in the Aye, special effect one? I'm going to be playing Metal Gear Survive on it because I've been promising to do that. People have been asking me to play Metal Gear Survive and I says I'll do it for a charity stream, so I'll do it for I'll do it for that. It's a good cause. I'll play it. I recently uh, found out as well that my idea is not against TOS. What was your idea? I was going to play a game on my feet. And as long as you like, don't have nipples in your feet, I think you'll be all right. Because I found out because, you know, Dr. Disrespect? <laughs> Dr. Disrespect shows his feet on stream all the time because he plays Fortnite with his feet. Aye, I, I mean, I don't see a problem. I mean, just some people get grossed out with feet. Do you know Aye, what I mean? Well, those people are just I'll, weird. I'll give you a really good pedigree for him. Is it not yeah. against TOS if, like, somebody comes in and, like, like... See, if I think you're in trouble if somebody comes in and basically goes, I love feet. Do you know what I mean? Show me your or toes like, wiggle. Oh, it's turning me on. I think that is where the, the problem starts to arise. Yeah. If you purposely fetish Yeah, if you purposely feed somebody's fucking yeah. do you know what I mean? I'll put my feet I'll put my, my feet in a thong. And there we go. Why don't you just draw little faces on each of your toes? It's like family. <laughs> Name them. <laughs> so we've got Jeff, Peter here Jeff working Bonnie. the A button. Simon here working the X button. This little piggy is on this button. (laughs) 
But um, a game that's coming out really soon, or hopefully really soon, they've not actually put a release date for it. Hey, Kellen, and hey, Lone Wolf, welcome to the podcast, man. But a game they're releasing really soon, hopefully, is Dying Light 2. Everybody liked Dying Light 1. I'm fucking, it's in this, they're releasing the second one. So Everybody yeah, liked everybody Dying Light did. 1. Everybody <laughs> did, right? Here's how you look at the trailer. Caveman Trust approves. <laughs> Oh, a jump scare, lovely. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I can hear sound. I'm not unmuting the stream. <laughs> it's been 15 years since the fall. I hate that, I hate when they use quotes. The city just is a corpse. And we are the cool worms. Quote. We burrow in it. It's more that quote made no sense. There's nothing permanent. Fighting for every except useful change. piece of land. Here to preserve ourselves. From the terrors oh, yeah, of the night nice. and the horrors of the day. Don't jump. Guys, they're just hanging out. Don't jump. 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 The parkour is brilliant, man. Yeah, listen, as long as they can improve on the parkour from the first one. Like, the parkour was good in the first one, but, like, it was a bit clumpy. And these choices we take to survive stuck into shit. will create the world to, make that better, that'd be to come. Class. I hope they expand on the the multiplayer on it. Did you ever play the multiplayer? The where, no, I didn't. where you can go, some of you can go like monsters. Monsters you'd never, like versions of zombies you'd never oh, seen uh, before. Uh, yeah, it was like invasions. So like, if, I, I, it's, you can still do it and down like. Um, ah, you can still play it, aye. aye. So if, you, if, so if a player enters outside world at night time, you can invade and you can be a... Like it was a feral zombie or something. Aye, and you could like it was almost like um because you released a game. It was called Evolve. No long after it, and I I was like, that's the fucking multiplayer basically in Dying Light because you can pick up. It's like an RPG, and your your character changes and he mutates into different things. You get different like appendages and, and different jumps and shit. Your character can evolve. And that I remember playing it with Kyle and stuff like that when it came out. Man, playing it on stream a few times. Did you ever it was play really it fun. I think we played a different game. It's the multiplayer for Dying Light I'm talking about. I don't remember mutating your body in that. That's, like, that's, that's for Evolve though. No, yeah, but it was like, they're the same. They're almost exactly the same. Evolving that in the multiplayer and Dying Light. They're almost exactly the same. I remember having a grappling hook and then pure just leaping at cunts from like miles away. But I don't remember running up and evolving myself. I don't know, maybe I'm just remembering that wrong. Because it was, um, obviously, it was every game you started, it was a, however many kills you'd to get. It was almost like you were eating people and consuming their DNA and changing a wee bit. And you, whatever types of people, or if you went and killed other zombies and stuff, you could you could get different level-ups and you could go different paths. It was really quite fun. Being the monster was a lot of fun, man. But I dying like to it, I hope they really fucking improve on it. Like you say, the parkour was a wee bit clunky in the first game, but it was still really fun. It was miles it was better really than the good. other parkour. Like, once you got around it, it was like really free flowing, but there's that like stickiness to it. Like you jump at a pole and then you just like glue to it, and you're like, oh, "All right, cool, I'm on this pole now." All right, go. Vanessa, but it, it did need like? that. It did need that. Do you know what I mean? Because there was a lot of fucking tiny wee bits you had to jump on, and if it wasn't sticky, you'd be just flying over them. Do you know what I mean? We off hangs and stuff off the buildings, we ledges, railings, and all that. It was, I really liked it. I really liked Dying Light. That's why I wanted to talk about it. Like I say, there's no release date, but they say 2019, and it's already almost finished, apparently. Vanessa, did you ever play Dying Light? No. Wow. Wait, no. I think I I was... I had, like, um, 20 minutes because my friend made me play it because he knew I would freak out on it. Did you freak out on it? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, Freak out in every game that like requires like a lot of 
jumping about. I'm like, what the fuck? Where do I go? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh man, dying lights. Why are they ones that it just feels so good? Like you can actually you can run over the top of zombies. You can use zombies as springboards and stuff like that. It's fucking great. Aye, dying light, man. Brilliant game. Hopefully, there's a lot of people playing it and we can get into the multiplayer modes when it comes out. The strongest weapon in the game is your foot. Yeah, <laughs> it literally is your foot. You can. Oh man, it's brilliant. Run up, <laughs> put in the cunt, kick their head off, run away, put them in heed, drop kick. <laughs> Who See, needs fucking weapons? Just <laughs> kicking everyone. The way you jump off a of buildings is you look off the side of a building and if you can see a dumpster, you jump into the dumpster and there was one time you jump into the dumpster during a cutscene and he gets out the dumpster and he's like, he says, um, one of these times I'm going to fucking jump on a bag of rusty knives. <laughs> 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 and you're like, hi, why are these times you would have fucking jumped on a bag of rusty knives? I think fuck you're a video game character. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Let's, I'm just imagining like, Imagine if there's actually like a, like, I want to know who thinks that this is all physically possible, that you can just start jumping into stuff from any height and you'll survive. Like, fucking Assassin's Creed. Oh, look, a very small pile of hay. Don't you worry, I'll make that jump. Hay's soft, right? Therefore, the... it's soften your landing. Therefore, makes sense, right? Video game logic. Da, 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 da. If that's the case, if, if, land, if landing on things that are soft... <laughs> break your landing then if i land on a single spring it should break my landing no it's made of metal <laughs> fine okay a mattress yeah what are you saying a very flimsy mattress they kind of call that out in the new assassin's creed game like um you're on like a roof and it's like a, just a cutscene just finished then a guard walks up and goes hey go off that fucking roof and then it just she just jumps off and he's like <laughs> She just fucking jumped! <laughs> <laughs> See, I like that in games. That the, the, They're like, aye, it wouldn't work in the real world. But it's a game. Look. Look at how the people in the game world still don't believe it's that fucking happening when I boot them. Do you know what I mean? In Dying Light, he's like, ah, how have I not jumped on something just jumping jaggy already? How have I not been stabbed? Do you know what I mean? And then in Assassin's Creed, everybody else in the world's like, what the fuck? <laughs> She'd totally be dead. Do you know what I mean? The next Assassin's Creed game gives you another option to take out guards. Not only can you kill them or hide them, you can also mentally scar them by jumping off buildings in front of them. <laughs> Estevarius asks in the pod questions section, what is your favourite mid-game snack? Me, personally, it's a fucking cream egg when you can get them because cream eggs are just the balls, man. It's just womp. Bit of chocolate, chocolate hat. No, they yes. are. They're literally shaped like balls. Yes, that's what I mean. They are the balls. The balls. Right. Vanessa. Official on Indie Scott's stream? podcast. Trust likes to put chocolate balls in mouth. <laughs> Suck I on don't... my chocolate, sorry, ball. Right, Vanessa. I don't usually <laughs> snack while I game because I get really distracted and then. Just I get beans and mucky board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I did have a really bad addiction to uh, Doritos and dip. Um, did have a really bad day. It's just still a thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vanessa, like... We can't go to Sainsbury's and walk past an hour without you going. Susan Dib. Oh, look, the tortilla chips are on sale. What about your favourite mid game snack? Oh, me? Yes, you. We both said me. Like, who, Viper, who? Viper, Viper, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Viper, mid game snack. It's pointing at it. Well, we can't see it. It's it's too far away. Oh, uh, it's red vines. I red bought vines. him. Uh, this is, this is why you make the screen Costco. bigger, trust. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> good call, boys. Good call. Before, before the stream, he's like, I've got this new thing where you can make the screen big, and, I'm, and he's not doing it. There you go. I like red vines, and I like rum. red vines and rum. There you go. Red vines and rum. What about you then, Yaldi San? Favorite mid-game snack? Just try to think, really. Is that really snack with the game? I've been eating these heroes, I guess, because they're there. But that's really about it. He's like, ah, these heroes are dynamite. They're my favourite right now. <laughs> like when when I'm when I'm gaming, I'm playing the game. I don't eat when I'm playing. Like, but if I've turned all the, off the game, I'm like put Netflix on, and I'll be like, yes, pull bowl of noodles. Or See, whatever, you know what I mean? but I've been playing a lot of Civ eat. recently, as you guys know, and Civ is why the games where you can sit and you can like you can eat your dinner yeah. and play Civ. Oh yeah, I, if I mean? I've had my dinner while playing Civ. Sitting well, that's like because that. you're 
That's because you're playing for like eight hours. Your tatties like that, just fucking horn fees are tatties like that. Fuck it. Mm, mouse to play Civ. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, um, I just eat a lot of chocolate when I'm playing Civ. But like I say, cream eggs are the holy grail, man. If I, I want a cream egg now. Cream eggs, I, it's cream I eggs. Know, um... Oh, I've got... Oh, no, Vanessa, go first. Oh, before the podcast, Yaldi mentioned he had these Iron Brew sweets. And that's all I can think about right now is like... Remember Iron Brew bars? What are they? Remember how and you felt your teeth them? melting when you were eating them, but they were amazing? <laughs> I can feel um, my teeth melting, but they're brilliant. <laughs> I don't know where you'll get them there, but this was from like a wee candy shop in Glasgow. They're I iron will. brew creams. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, so like chewy? No, no, no. They're a bit like meringues. Oh. But a bit harder. And they just Ooh. taste like pure iron brew. Oh, man, that sounds awesome. Where do you get them for? That's I got them from the Gobstopper Candy Shop that's in Glasgow. Gobstopper it's Candy Shop. Glasgow. Yep. Um, Definitely. I'm sure. That, I'm sure if you got in like candy shops that do like the tubs of sweeties, they might have them because mm-hmm. they also sell like bonbons and all that. Yeah. Bonbons, fucking my old dog Oscar man. He used to fucking love strawberry bonbons, man. He used to have seen this dog wear a strawberry bonbon in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking ridiculously funny, man. I've got a really weird story about uh, cream eggs. Fire away so, then. I think it was either last year or the year before they done a competition where if you got a that white was last year, last year if you got a white chocolate cream egg, um, you won like a thousand pounds or something. Oh yeah. Mm. And um, what happened was, my mum didn't want to pay the full price for cream eggs, so she bought the fake ones. And she bought some white chocolate cream eggs. And I got one and ate one. And I posted on Facebook going, here, I don't remember cream eggs being white. They taste all right, though. And all my mates on Facebook <laughs> had a fucking meltdown. <laughs> they like, you didn't they just eat that, did you? And I was like, it's a fucking cream egg. Why wouldn't I eat it? Fucking no, game, no, game no, winning no. cream egg vipers like that. Oh, gone. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gone. Those are tasty. Have you kept kept the grand or a snack? (laughs) (laughs) But like apparently, what you're talking about. But the thing is, right? Apparently, if you if you if you got this white cream egg, you were supposed to put it back in the wrapper, get the code that was inside the wrapper. Then send it to them. Mate, go, it wasn't it, it wasn't ten thousand pounds for finding the cream egg. It was ten thousand pounds for having the the strength of will not to eat the cream egg. That's what the price is for. Did they make it out of white chocolate? <laughs> but I that, love white chocolate. Aye, uh, that's the, the test you know what it was? They accidentally sent out some white cream, white chocolatey cream eggs, and they're like, "Oh shit, that's full of poison." And they're like, <laughs> "How do we recall these without putting it out as a recall?" <laughs> We'll reward people for sending them back, right? Cool. It's a competition now. If that's the poison case, the cream eat. eggs. <laughs> Vipers like in the shop the next day. Any Mary they white cream eggs? <laughs> <laughs> Woman's like that. <laughs> you talk about it's fucking it's a competition for them. Vipers fucking on his belly, man. Try to fucking Go like, come out the other end. <laughs> Do you accept <laughs> this? <laughs> and them up kill of like pale shite. Like, look, this is my shite I on a promise normal that's, I promise that's it. <laughs> 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 I have to do some chemical breakdowns in my job, eh? <laughs> the chemical fucking... The chemicals from the cream egg in it. <laughs> Something else I want to talk about is um, YouTube changing its policies because of this bird box fucking challenge shape. So we'll have you look at this idea and <coughs> article where they're talking about that. Viper, do you want to take it away on this one? You were the one that wanted to talk about this in the first right, place. Sure. Right, so because some twats have been stupid, it means nobody <laughs> else can now be a twat and be stupid. Be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, right, and we wanted to be twats and be stupid. Right, but basically, because of some people on YouTube, Jake Paul, um, they've basically changed the um, the guidelines that anything that's a prank or can be harmful is now no longer allowed. And the reason why is because some people, Jake Paul, drove their car. People into driving traffic cars and walking into traffic. Well, it's blindfolded, and to be fair, right. Just, just this one word 
comes into mind when this this and it's called Darwinism. And <laughs> no, I was thinking this. I was like, oh, I think of two words here. Fucking natural, natural selection. selection. Yeah, yeah, that was my first thing. <laughs> Mind, like, mind, mind, mind those about the fucking Tide Pods and all. I was like, I hope you all die from eating Tide Pods. You're a bunch of idiots. I like it's it's the same. Like I actually know someone at my school, fucking dumb to microwave their iPhone because they thought it charged it. I remember seeing something on YouTube a while ago as well. Like fucking, it was one of the videos where it's like YouTube fails, right? And this guy fucking put his head in the microwave and then fucking concreted his head in the microwave and then when he was fucking... See, when he was starting to suffocate, he was shitting himself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And these fucking friends are fucking trying to use sledgehammers and shit. You're like, how the fuck did he survive that? But it I'll, turned out he what, did I'll, survive I'll have, it. Like, probably barely. But what the fuck are these people that. thinking? Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, for a couple of YouTube hits, don't fucking put yourself in danger. Don't put a blindfold over your eyes and fucking walk into traffic. That's stupid. Do you know what I mean? The, one that, the, the other one that comes to mind is um, I'm going to shoot my husband in the head and I'm going to put a book in the way see if it just blocks the bullet. <laughs> then not even test it and just shoot him in the head and he dies. Well, when did this happen? This was years ago. This yeah. was genuinely happened. I never ever heard about that. Really? Somebody done that? I yes. heard that the, 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 there was a certain book that was so thick that if you shot it, um, it wouldn't. The thing is, that probably would have worked with like either the smallest bullet or like a BB gun. <laughs> yeah. But no, she took like a fucking fifty cal Desert Eagle to his face. Fuck. Yeah. It was, it was like, like, oh, thank God, I took out this life insurance policy. <laughs> there is actually a guy so who, dumb. um, I think he either videoed or live streamed this, but similar to the concrete head thing, but in the way safer, he had the way where he concreted his head, but it was like he had a place to breathe and everything but it was like an art piece where he was hammering his own head just like around it and then seeing what happens like what so he actually thought that guy happened. thought it through first yeah so this was like an actual himself. like art piece yeah like yeah. you can do I things safely do you know what i mean art piece. Safe. give myself brain trauma <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love i love that you said that they took fucking sledgehammers to his head right i'm like that's just even more natural selection at its finest oh no my mate's head is stuck in something let me take a sledgehammer and start whacking away at said head to get him out i know i can't believe that <laughs> i was watching like either are you still okay like <laughs> It does sound like a cartoon. It sounds like something out of fucking like fucking or big some Jimmy shit. back there is fucking breaking out <laughs> the pneumatic drill. He's like, I'll get you in safe, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay still. <laughs> fucking stunk concrete. Uh, aye, YouTube's um, read the fucking a wee bit of this part of uh, article, right? We recently announced updates to our policy regarding dangerous challenges and pranks. Reads the statement. Challenges that present an apparent risk of death are not allowed on YouTube. Content that features a child participating in dangerous challenges that pose an imminent risk to injury or bodily harm are also not allowed on YouTube. Is that no just like it? Does that no like it is? <laughs> see, 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 don't be, don't be a silly cunt. Do you know what I mean? Like, see, see, this does like actually... holy fuck, man! Don't put your ch- children in danger. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's. It's really sad that they have to actually say yeah. that. The thing is, the reason yeah. that yeah. should be like common sense: don't hit your child with a sledgehammer. But <laughs> here's the: I take my child with a sledgehammer challenge. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing is though? The reason that people are, obviously the, the reason that people are up in arms about this though is because if if it is saying what it says, it takes down one of the biggest channels on YouTube. Good. No, but guess who that channel is? Who? I don't care. WWE. Oh, does it? Does it take away? Think... No, that's different. It. That's not pranks, though. That's stuff in like it's, a professional it's, it's, setting. It's the don't like cause of serious injury or death. So basically, any extreme sports. So that's WWE, Nitro Circus. He does X-Game. make a point. He does make like... a point. That does make sense. Do you know? I mean, fair enough. These guys, it's scripted. They know what's going to happen. They know they're taking the risks. But these things can go wrong, and that guy can get seriously hurt. And that's, that's happened true. before. It's happened before. I don't think, don't think WWE needs YouTube. To be honest, they've got their no, own no, 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 no. service. In that. ICW does. Mm-hmm. ICW does. CZW does. Uh, PWG does. Um, don't know any of these people. Arg- 
Argument, okay. arguments. It's because they're all small wrestling, small wrestling companies. No, even I mean? They need YouTube. Are all elite wrestling the new one? They're going to need it. I like most of the play. I always watch Fight Club when it comes onto YouTube, which is the ICW one. Do you know what I mean? That's where I watch it. Do you know what I mean? I never thought about that as an outcome. Bastard, mm -hmm. the other wrestling like, is going like to go that, away. One of the best things that, uh, I don't really talk about it as much as I talk about like wrestling and stuff. But one of my other loves in terms of sport is I love extreme sports. I love nitro. I go. I go mental for nitro circus. Uh, I go mental for the X Games. I love it. Like. Travis Pastrana, I fucking love you. Like it's, but there's a clip I can't remember what rider it was, but on an on a nitro, it's on YouTube on a nitro circus. He attempted the triple backflip, and he landed that bad. He's been paralyzed from the waist down for the rest of his life. That's and that, that that can happen though in extreme sports. Do you know? Yeah. What I so mean? Like, like, what I'm wondering is, it will they now feel will sorry for the guy? But he knew the risks going in. Do you know oh, what aye. I mean? But I'm like, I wonder if are they going to like go with the parameters that like you know shuffle the parameters of okay if this is like a sport where people have trained all their lives and they know the risk going in and they're pushing the sport forward that is then allowed because then that allows stuff like you know nitro circus x games wwe but if it's people just being stupid jake paul will it then be like no no happening I think the difference with uh, with it being and making it allowed is the part that it's, it's scripted and it's, it is being monitored by health and safety and stuff for where they can do it. And um, those things usually have a disclaimer. And if something does go wrong, I, obviously they're not going to be like, oh, here's, I'm going to upload a video of my pal fucking snap his neck, you know what I mean? Yeah, because like at the wrestling, if something bad happens, you're instantly going to see a paramedic team. Do you know what I mean? You're instantly got to see them getting medical attention. So I think, I think you might have a point there, Yaldi. The fact that it's scripted and they've got health and safety already on place to make sure the people are safe and looked after, I think will be maybe... The main... We'll have to see when it problem. fully gets released. Do you know yeah. what I mean? There's actually a comment Papa Mambi put in it and it says, but they put others in harm too. If that is the case, then what it should be then is if you're doing something stupid but it's only going to hurt yourself fine no if you're doing no. something stupid but it's going to hurt other people while you're doing it then it's a problem no, no. because if you're going to date to hurt yourself then people will find it funny which means other people will want to date impressionable people and that's exactly what youtube are trying <laughs> to avoid so I, I disagree with that i like they're no they need to just they need to put a line on it and just be like just stop I think the I think the point of the, like the wrestling thing is they're not going out there to hurt themselves. That is just the byproduct of what they do. EZW if is, I uploaded a video of myself trying to hurt myself, that's a different thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Mm. Like... It's, it's, it's an interesting one to see. It's Jackass, do you know what I mean? Oh, Fucking... I, I... <laughs> their all their what stuff about, off YouTube. Oh, do you name? know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a guy last name, but there's there's a guy um i know on instagram it's called zackass but is that Zach, no Zach, <laughs> or maybe Dakas. but it's a guy in america and he's basically been called the new wave of dirty sanchez and it's just him doing the most stupid stuff it's him like he skateboarded into cactuses he he lit off firecrackers while they were stuck Aye, that stuff's body. not allowed under these new rules 100 like and that guy who, um, the guy that had a viral video of like different ways to get rid of his facial hair. Oh, yeah, the Indian yeah. guy. Yeah, the Indian guy, yeah. How was he doing? Like, like burning that. it and stuff? Yeah, like, but like. Burning, was... electrocuting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Electrocuting. That, his whole channel is actually like. He's, he's, I think he's a qualified electrician, but he does this really stupid stuff that he knows if it happens, he won't die. It'll hurt, but it won't die. So he's like, I'm going to make an, ele an, an electric guitar. And what he does is he gets a piece of wood, puts four nails at the end of it, and um, like puts two pits of copper wire over it, oh, and then no. plugs it into the mains and goes, are you ready? So we're going to play a copper. <laughs> and like, you know, like, he's like... <laughs> like Aye, he's, that's, that's that stuff's not going to be allowed anyway, either. Yeah. That stuff's all going to say bye bye to you uh, on YouTube. But we're going to go to our last topic this week, and that is Indie Scots have a new merch store, guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! New Indie Scots merch store. We have t shirts. We have t shirts, we have everything, everything you could ever want. 
Look, um, fair enough, my logos are on it as well. We're hopefully going to get uh, Viper's logos are getting up, Kelly's logos are getting up. So if anybody else wants their logos on the shop, let us know. But look, you can well, choose it on all different stuff and you can <coughs> go in. Holy, wait, holy shit, you can get cooking aprons? You can get cooking aprons, you can get hats, you can get fucking baby bibs, bags, hoodies, mugs, different coloured mugs. Mate, you can get everything. You can even go into the and choose like where the design's going to be. Like, there's baby bibs, there's baby onesies, pillows, fucking everything, man. There's a tank top for Dacast. Do you know what I mean? There's fucking, there's everything, man. There's, like, you name it, these guys have got it. There's a teddy bear wearing Andy Scott's t shirt on. <laughs> can we get one of them for Vice? Can we get one of them for um for uh, dog? For thunder. Oh my god, look, a dog a bandana. Dog, a dog bandana yeah. as well. I was I thinking might get that bag. That badges cool. as well. Badges is quite cool. Do we could do fucking do you know what I mean? See the bag just above it. The bag above oh, it. Oh aye, the big at? bag. Mm -hmm. Nylon nylon duffel bag. Nylon no, duffel I, bag. Nylon. I think that bag would be pretty cool with SM Viper written across it. Aye, aye, uh, see, the SM uh, Viper logo will be going up there tomorrow, I'll be doing that tomorrow. But look, I'll click into one of them, right, um, you can personalise and choose, like, where, and you can make the logo that bigger. maternity t-shirt? Aye, maternity t-shirts as well, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's what I'm saying, they've got everything, man. But you can make the logo smaller, <laughs> bigger, do you know what I mean, move it around, as long as it's in the square, mm -hmm. and you can customise, customise the gear to be the way you want it. So I, if you're wanting any new new gear and the Scots logos and stuff like that, our shop the the links are down below. The links are on my channel as well. And remember, we're going to be doing a relay stream on the twenty third of February, and we've Great. got a relay stream on Saturday coming With as sunglasses. well. But yeah, guys, on the podcast next week is going to be Stewie C and Mister Tickles One Two Three. Thank you to Yaldi Time for joining us this week, Vanessa. Thank you for coming back, and SM Viper. You're not getting my corner, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you all next time. PC's done the so freeze thing again, ain't it? There we go. Who are we raiding, guys? Raid suggestions in chat. Brian Lemon. Raid fucking Brian Lemon. Is he streaming? Yeah. It doesn't have raids notifications on, so what's the point? Yeah.